Hey guys, Swansea Bat Cave here with another custom action figure video. Uh, this time I thought I would look at my first custom figure, and um, one that I'm working on at the moment, and things I've learned from doing the two of them. Uh, so yeah, let's start. So this is a there you go. this is Killer Frost from the focus. There you go, Killer Frost from the Attack on Arkham animated movie. Uh, she's based off a black cat uh, Marvel Legends figure. Uh, so what I did with her was, uh, let's see, so I took off the, the hair entirely. Um, I sculpted in, took off the fur that was around here, sculpted in the halter neck with some Millie putt, and then sculpted in these the banding on his shirt, and then I've kept the, the boots and the gloves pretty much the same. That's pretty much it. Um, I did take her apart, but I didn't really sand anything when I started. So, um, yeah, I just sort of painted straight on, and then you can tell where she hasn't been sanded down. There's just joint rub. That's not, there we go. It's just joint rub everywhere. Uh, yeah, the legs, where she's moving around. So, yeah, you know, it was a nice little... It's a... It's a just basically a figure to stand as a display piece. I'm not going to be playing with it. And the hair was Millie Put. It was the first time I actually attempted painting in eyes and things. And then for her frosty accessories, so she's got like a little wisp of frosty smoke in that hand, which is just Black Cat's hair cut up. And the same for this hand. She has a little uh, sort of frosty, icy puff of smoke to hold. Uh, I used this figure because it was on sale in Smith's Toys, and it was really terrible. Um, so before I glued it, uh, it didn't. The legs wouldn't stand up. The the torso kept twisting. It's still quite loose, and because of the way she's set up in like high heels, it doesn't really stand very well. So she has to have a base to stand on. So yeah, that was my first figure. I learned a lot of things from it, such as dry brushing seems to be a better way to paint things than just solid paint because solid paint rubs. Uh, yeah, she got. But removing the hair did mean that her head gained a load of movement because on the if you've got the Legends, uh, Marvel Legends Black Cat figure, you'll know there's not a lot of movement in the in the head because of how much hair she's got. Um, so let's take a look at then my more recent figure. So uh, with my Batman stuff, it's all sort of six inch scale. So I managed to get an Iron Man Legends figure from. Someone, somebody on one of the Facebook um, action figure trading groups, and and he wasn't really doing anything. He's a bit loose. He didn't really fit with any of my for uh, for Marvel. I mainly have um, Marvel Select just because I like the larger scale for them. So he didn't really fit with anything, and I thought I'd convert him into something else. So uh, this is going to be Mister Freeze. I've got a little helmet on him there. He's not, he's not finished yet, he's uh, mostly work in progress. So uh, the head is the Marvel Legends Electro alternate head with some Milliput goggles on there. Most of the body is pretty much the same body. Um, I sanded Milliput and sanded the shape of the torso down. Um, sanded the bit under the crunch so it doesn't rub. And then there's a lot of Milliput work then to do these bands and stuff on here. Here. Um, I think the artwork I based it off was some um, Arkham uh, concept art for Mr. Freeze and a little bit of other stuff from like the series and what I thought would be cool. So then we've built up with Millie Put around here. There we go. And so the that will fit on this is a deodorant cap. And I think I've got to put some magnets in so it just holds nice and tight into the front there. And so, I, and I also then I can get access to the head to turn it around, which also needs a magnet in there, so it keeps head on. Uh, let's see, the belt then is milliput sanded down. Uh, I've got two sort of freeze grenades, which are uh, sort of scale. I think they're one. There's a, there's a couple of websites that do sort of miniatures for Action Man um, scale weapons and grenades and stuff. So I bought a big, big load of grenades. Which uh, I've taken the top off to make these little sort of freeze bombs. Uh, the back then is a really old uh, glass ink bottle, like an art supplies ink bottle. And it does have a screw cap, which I'll be working into something for a gun there. 
there's some flexible wire so that screws on this was initially glued into place so I could get an idea of where it sat um, so I could sand everything so it wouldn't rub and then it's uh, milli putted in because glue doesn't like to stick to glass very well uh, the reason I've used glass is because it won't discolor over time when I fill it with you know, whatever liquid I fill it with so I can fill it with like a blue shower gel and it shouldn't stain the glass at all and it's nice and solid as well put little buttons on there um, I'm going to, for the colours for it, I'm keeping the silver joint here because that way there's no rub at all for that part of the arm. Um, I'm going to pop the legs out, I think, and sand around where this joint meets here and build up some milliput on the boots. So cause he needs something to so make him look less high and mannish and so a nice big chunky boot there. I might actually borrow Electro's legs so I think he's got a double jointed knee and he's got some really nice boots and they're in black so I wouldn't have to do any painting. Actually, let's see how they scale up. And boom! There we go. Right, so this is the Electro from Marvel Legends. Uh, yep, it does have a double jointed knee. Um, there we go. I've not stuck it together, so I'll just pull those parts down there. Right, so let's see. Yeah, they might be a good fit. Maybe. Um, I think Electro actually has more. Yeah, he's got an ankle rocker and an up and down movement whereas Iron Man oh he has got a small amount of ankle rock and not very much up and down motion so yeah I can pop the legs off and then pop these on to save me having to paint the boots and avoid any rub that way so it can just be all black that'd be quite cool uh, yeah very nice figure I love the Electro figure uh, just for the lining hands and the little face um, this was originally going to be what I based Mr. Freeze on, but I liked the figure too much to alter it, so Iron Man got chopped up. But uh, yeah, so that'll be a nice swap out for the legs. Uh, to swap it out, there's a couple of guides on YouTube. You sort of heat up the joint there, and these little pegs sort of pop out. And then you to get it back on, you can just push it with some pliers back on, and it's hot again. Uh, yeah. So the materials I've been using is Milliput. Um, if you don't know what Milliput is, it's a two-part uh, sort of hard drying up, I want to say epoxy, but I don't think it is. Um, it basically, it hardens to the consistency of rock. Uh, you can sand it. It's really easy to, to sort of play with. It's just two parts of that part, equal amounts with the other part, equal amounts, and it's got a setting time of around, you know, I usually leave it overnight, but I think it's about six, seven hours to properly set solid. But it's really strong, and it's nice for sort of larger areas like this. And you can yeah, it's one of my favourite things to use. Uh, you can use other things like green stuff, which is, uh, sort of, again, that's a two parts of a plumber's epoxy. You can mix it, and it sort of dries with a rubbery consistency, so it's nice if you're going to put in straps and things. Um, actually, I can show you that. There we go. Right, so uh, this is the cap shield I'm working on for my Marvel Select Spider-Man, um, with the new trailer coming out. So this is green stuff here. Uh, let's see if I can get it. So get it off. Uh, it's sort of flexible-ish, so it gives you a little bit of wiggle room for um, with straps and things, and it's also nice for rounding off edges. You can see Spider-Man sort of fits nice and snugly in there. There you go. Yeah, this is a, an acrylic disc that I picked up from eBay. So they do in different millimeter sizes. I eventually bought 200 mil, which is too big, and this is 85 mil, and I've just taken the sanding bit of the Dremel to round out the edges. So that's Spider-Man's shield, and so yeah, I'll be doing some other updates once I've finished the figures, once Mr. Freeze is done, and some updates once I've done Clayface and finished Killer Croc. I'll do a video with all of them. Um, yeah, thanks for watching guys, as usual, like and subscribe, and comment on the video if you liked it. Um, there was some really nice advice got given on my um, Clayface video about joints, loose joints. Um, which was to cover, actually, yeah, this is a good point to make at the end. Uh, so I can't remember his name. Um, you'll see him on the Clayface video anyway. Um, but the guy that commented said to cover the joint, uh, sand the joint down a little bit, rough it up, cover it in super glue, and let it dry. And that should give you a sort of rigid ish joint, so it will stop it falling over. And I've since learned it's called suading, um, which is a ball jointed doll term, uh, which so they're like so sort of dolls ball jointed dolls in fact um, but they have problems with being floppy um, so you can it's called suading because you can line the inside of both the joint and the ball 
in this case the leg ball, with suede. And that means it gives them a little bit of friction to hold on to something. So these are nice and sturdy joints at the moment, but they will loosen over time. In fact, there we go, just go in there. Um, so yeah, super glue or suede, suading. So we learn something every day. So yeah, thanks for that comment. Uh, thanks for the advice. And but like, comment, and see you again next time. Thanks, guys.